And today I wanted to teach you guys how to add a link tree um, link to uh, your blog. For anybody that had issues this morning, uh, which is today's the 13th of July 2018, many of us this morning had issues with Linktree and our Instagram account. And there were a lot of people that had issues in terms of you weren't able to like posts or share posts or anything of that nature because there was a, a disclaimer notice that came up saying that uh, your account had so, had a link that violated uh, Instagram's rules, basically. So I happen to catch a company that suggested that you add an external link tree link to if you have an existing blog um, so you can actually redirect it that way if there's ever another problem with Linktree and Instagram. And after that long-winded instruction, I just realized, for those of you that aren't familiar with Linktree, I'll show you what it looks like. Linktree is a, they have two options, a free option and a pay option. And it allows you to add multiple links to your bio. So basically, as you see here, this is my link tree. And you just can add, I think it's a set number of links for free. And then if you uh, upgrade to their pro or paid subscription, I think they give you more uh, link opportunities. But basically, this is what it would look like here, as you see on this side. And this is what it looks like on Instagram, to give you the example. So. Linktree gives you a link which is here and mine is again connected to my Instagram. So what you would do is, is you would copy this link and then you would find a way to, to add it to your, your blog. So let's get into that. So this is, I'm currently using uh, wordpress.org uh, as, my, as my general blog and I actually have it hosted out through uh, Bluehost. But if you're using, if you're using say WordPress.com and I'm assuming it's the same, basically the same setup. Cause I've seen some of the, um, or the, the dashboard itself, it, it looks basically the same. So what you would do is, is you would basically go to your appearances and to menus and wait for that to open. And as you see here, you can actually do where it says manage with live preview. That's what I did earlier. So if you want to actually add it to your general menu, if you have one here, you can, but let's do um, manage live preview because it works a little easier for me. So I click manage live preview and you just wait for the page, the page to load and you should see your page here as we see mine and you see all the links and then you would just go ahead and navigate down to the menu section which is here and you click on the arrow so it'll open oh, I'm still waiting for the page to load sorry everybody there we go so mine currently is just a general nav bar that's the way that it's labeled so you just click on that arrow again and it'll open the whole section so what you can do is, is there's a couple different ways that you can do it. You click add item. And as you see here, it gives you again, your pages, if you want to add a page or a custom link and it gives you other options as well. So let's just say I want to add a custom link so I can actually just add my URL from Linktree here. So let me copy it from over here and it says copy link and we'll paste it into the box. But remember to um, highlight the box and delete the first half of the um, URL so you don't have a double HTTP. And then you can just paste it. And then you can add your link title. So I'll just call mine Instagram links. And you add it to your menu. And we should see it added here in just a second. So let me see if it shows up. I'm waiting for it to finish. Oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, it shows up here at the end of the page. I don't know if you guys can really catch it, but it's there at the end. And then if you want to just customize it, you can actually just re reorder your link. So you can actually click the reorder button or just pull it up along to where you would like it to be. So I have to scroll up a little bit more <laughs> to put it where I want it. So I'm going to put it right there, right before my pages tab. It just takes a couple seconds for it to upload or for it to actually show up on your on your live preview. And then it would also help if I click publish. That'd be a good idea too. So there we go. So you click publish and it should show up. It just takes a couple seconds for it to show up, but it should it should show up without a problem. So let's see. So let me check my page in general. So let's check it out. And as you can see, there it is, where it says Instagram links. And you click on it. And it'll take you to my link tree feed. So that's how you go ahead and do it. You can also, if you want to, you can also copy and paste your link into a, um, a page or into a sidebar. But I think just doing an active link was just easiest. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know and have a good day, everybody. Bye.